It is opening day here in Arkansas. It's 5 07. So I've still got an hour till legal shooting light. It's pretty bright outside though. You can already see the tree line. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and I'm going to hike to the top of this hill back behind me up here. Pick a tree, sit down, and listen and see if we can get something to gobble. Been watching these birds since February. I think there's several good long beards down here so I know they're down here I don't know exactly where they're roosting at I know one's roosting across the creek over here but he's been with a bunch of hens every time I've seen him so but there's several on this side that should be up there by themselves so that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get all my stuff packed up here get all the camera stuff and I'm gonna head up there and sit down so stay tuned it should be an interesting day it's pretty cold. I think it's 42 degrees. It's pretty windy. So that's nice. Hopefully we should be able to hear them gobble though where we're at. It, it's pretty. They'll be pretty close anywhere they are. So that would be interesting. Oh!
you couldn't see much of that, but just lost both of my shoes in the creek. Got them back though. And now we're in a mud pit. Holy cow. These two times we're growling over here. Without trying to sneak over here. Holy cow. Where is it, Marty? Look at all this. Turkey tracks everywhere. Probably because he's planting the wheat over here. I'm trying to get to dry ground. Oh my god, it's bad. Oh, I'm gonna sink it more. Oh god. Oh. Probably should have worn boots. But. Maybe these are better. My shoes are full, but. Holy cow. There's my shoes. Put them back on when we got on solid ground. All right, well, a little quick recap of this morning. Got here pretty early. Walked back down behind me on this gas line. Then I called in an owl. He started hooting back at me. As I was videoing him, bird gobbled across the creek, which I knew was roosted there. He's been roosted there quite a bit. So I figured he would be there. So I was going to go up on top of this hill and see if a different bird was back on the back side. Well then, another one gobbled down below on, on this side of the creek. So I dropped off, got down there. He gobbled twice. Once on top, it's on video, uh, when the owl was hooting. And then another time as I was going down the hill. So I just had a general idea where he was at. So I got down there, set up started to get light and I heard something it sounded like a turkey drumming but I couldn't quite make it out well as it got more daylight it got louder and I finally picked him out in the tree and I had set right under him I think I ranged him at 60 yards in the tree so I watched him for a while then finally some hens flew down and some jakes and then he flew down with them then he left them to another to go with another gobbler that was gobbling across the creek. So I, I don't know what was up with that. But then I moved over to a big dirt pile, called in those three jakes, as you've seen. Then I crossed the creek to see if I could find those two and never did. So then I ran to work for a little bit and now it is 3.12 and I am back. It's a little windy, but the sun has come out. So hopefully they are gobbling it right now. So I'm gonna get my camo on I'm going to head back over the hill and see if we can strike one up. So, it ought to be interesting. Alright, we are switched over into camo. I'm also going to bring the strutter this time. Because this morning, generally the birds on this property are not aggressive. So I didn't bring a decoy this morning. But it seemed to me like that one bird was. So. I'm just going to carry this with me. It's not very heavy, so I can lay it down and grab it on my way out if I need to. But I'm going to take it with me. We're going to go down to this big field, glass it, and see what we can see. It is now 5.05. I've been sitting back this way about 120 yards for the past hour and a half. I think I called twice in that hour and a half just to see if anything would show up nothing did so I'm actually back in the exact same spot that I was this morning that I hunted these birds off the roost
but we've still got two and a half hours or so left. So I'm going to sit tight here and hope that Longbeard comes across this field. I've also got the
They're back down there where they were this morning, I think. Maybe a little farther up the field edge, but they're not probably anyone anyway, again. I don't think they're roosted yet. But it's taken something really loud to give them a gobble. So I know where I'm gonna be in the morning. I think. Oh! Alrighty, well it was a great first day. Seen a ton of turkeys, heard a bunch of turkeys. Nothing really wanted to interact with the calls, but we're gonna give it a go tomorrow. Well, we got it done in Arkansas. <laughs> Second day of season here. Watch this bird. As you can see, he does the same thing in the video yesterday. Flies down the exact same spot. So I switched over to where he flew down at this morning. And he did the exact same thing, so. Nice bird. Probably nine, I think probably nine, nine and a half inch beard. One inch spurs. Great turkey. The new bat wing did his job. Called two or three times just to let him know we were there. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and I'm gonna make the hike out of here. Take him back to the truck. So there wasn't much action this morning besides him. Yesterday we had turkeys all over us, but just him today. So thank you guys for watching.